All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna do a little bit of a breakdown of exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it in order to do well in the game. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been seeing some comments surfacing that I'm reverse boosting and people who watch my videos just can't believe it because they get into lobbies where they just get absolutely destroyed. They struggle to go positive. But you know what? In today's video, I just wanna explain the importance of map knowledge, positioning, and how important and vital it is to your success in the game. So in my live stream, I literally played in front of my viewers for four hours straight in almost every single game I went positive. And the reason why is because I always apply those tips that I do share with you guys. So it is an actual thing and it does take some time. I understand it does take some time to understand these maps, but that's where I come in. I help you guys out and it is very possible to do miles better than you were yesterday after you watch one of my videos. So uh, I'm just going to let it play here and I'm just going to go through a play by play real quick uh, just to explain every single detail and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to lower the volume a little bit here because I can't hear myself talk. And I'm using my M4 and MP5 combination setup. If you guys missed that video, then go ahead, check that out. Link in the description down below. So, so my first instinct on this map particularly is to get high ground. And on any map, you always want to get high ground. Now, I'm looking at those footsteps. I'm trying to connect the dots. And I did hear somebody on top of this platform. So that's why I threw my C4. So I'm taking it slow here just a little bit because I want to let the action unfold. It's just the beginning of the match. Enemies could have those positions established by now. So that's why I'm being very patient. And that's one thing a lot of people don't understand is being patient pays really well. And it allows the enemies to come to you, which will result in easy kills. So as you can see, I'm holding down the middle area of this map. You know, you don't have to run around the map like a madman and try to ego challenge everybody because... What that is going to result in is if you're playing way too aggressive without really thinking about everything you're doing, you're going to end up with a lot of deaths on your kill record. So uh, in that situation, of course, obviously, I died to that guy. So, you know, there's always going to be situations where you are going to lose a gunfight and people are going to catch you by surprise. And that happened to be one of them. All right. So the reason why I pop in Deddy is because if you take a look at the minimap, there's not a lot of my teammates here. So there's not a lot of engagement going on. So the likelihood that there's going to be enemies is very high. So that's why I'm playing it even slower now because just uh, let me just let the gameplay speak for itself. As you can see, there was somebody right there. Imagine if I rushed way too hard, there would have been an enemy that popped up and here's another one and they would have killed me. So that's why it's very important to know when to pop that dead silence because you have to understand your positioning, where you are on the map and how it relates to everyone else. So I do see these footprints. I make the connection. I come around for the slide cancel and I was able to take out that guy. So I'm always constantly pre-aiming around lines of sight where I believe there's going to be enemies. You know, it all boils down to the fundamentals and people just cannot believe that, you know, I'm not reverse boosting if that makes sense. Let me, let me just replay this really quick. Uh, I want you guys to get a live listen on what I'm saying to my stream as I'm playing. Watch. So I take out these two guys. Those guys had no idea. I shot them in the back. That's what is amazing about flanking. See? Uh, notice how I'm constantly checking every single angle. And that is what is also very important. You cannot assume that no one's going to be there. You always have to check every single angle. And that's why it looks like the people I play against are not good at all. Best believe that these are tactics that do work against better players. And I'm talking about better players as far as gun skill, because the average person who plays Call of Duty, they just want to go in there and rush, you know, like typical rush arcade type of game. But if you approach the game the way that I do, even if you don't have good gun skill, and I consider myself to be one of those people that don't have good gun skill, I still dominate because I'm outsmarting my enemies and that's what my channel is built on and why I preach it so much that you need to be as outsmarting as possible. I don't even know if that's a word, but screw it. It's a word now. All right. So in that situation, I figured, you know what? I need to reestablish my position. I need to get higher ground. So now that my teammates are moving up, I'm going to move up with them and I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of patrol the outskirts. All right. So uh, what I just said there is that I'm now going to push forward because my teammates are starting to push forward. Look how big of a map Superstore is. So think of it like a bubble. I've said this before in different commentaries is that when your teammates start advancing forward and there's no action where you're at, you can move forward with your team, but just stick to the perimeter. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm covering my teammates' back. I'm watching every line of sight where enemies could possibly come in from, and they're definitely going to be 
respawning at A because they're only holding the A flag right now. We have both B and C. So you have to keep that in mind. So wherever the enemy has the flag, then that's the flag that you want to concentrate on when you're trying to face enemies. All right. So I'm just going to let it play. Keeping in mind of where their spawns at. Literally just said that. Right. I'm also paying attention to, you know, who my just teammates are my killing. Teammate just, died, right teammate right just died. Look at that white skull. That's why I'm focusing here. I'm flashed. This, I got really lucky. I have to admit, that was just really lucky. But you know what? It's always better safe than sorry, man. Get ready. Wait. There's footprints. Let's go see where these go. I don't challenge yet. I switched to my MP5, which is better up close because of that ADS and movement speed. That high alert perk saved my life. That's why I do recommend using it. All right. So the reason why I'm tucked in this corner is because I was being shot from this direction right here. I wasn't exactly sure at that time and moment if my teammates did take them out. So that's why I'm over here. I'm not camping. I'm just being patient. All right. And at the same time, somebody is capping A. So watch what I do here. So I turn on my dead silence as well, if you didn't notice. What? I was shocked that my C4 didn't kill that guy, so I went out there to finish the job. I knew he was hurt because of that EOD perk. I saw the icon, so I knew he was hurt. So now they're coming in. Look how I just let them come to me. It's easy money. Now I'm going to move out of that situation. The reason why I moved out of there and instead of letting them just keep coming back to me is because if I were to just stay there, I would have been outnumbered eventually because remember, I am deep in their spawn. I'm here all alone. I have no help at all. So I'm going to get outnumbered and they're going to kill me. So that's why it's important when you get a kill and you just got to move to a different location. Keep these enemies guessing where you're at. So I'm going to go for the chase here. I see his footprints right here clearly. In their spawn right now by myself. I do come up on that kill. Slide cancel around this corner. Get this guy. And if you notice, like most of my kills are when I'm shooting the enemy with their backs turned to me. That is what is so great about flanking. And that's probably why a lot of people think that I reverse boost because they say like, oh, these people weren't even looking at you. Dude, it's a play style, man. Flanking is a supreme play style. It, you just feel so rewarded every time you get a kill because you knew that you just outsmarted another human being on the other side of the planet. And, you know, that's why I do recommend flanking is key if you want to do better. And plus, it'll make you a smarter player. Oh, All right. Gonna be coming from me. All right. So I said that they're going to be coming for me, right? Because I just killed those guys 100%. They're going to want to go back to the location where they died. You know, that's just what uh, common sense is. So this is their flag. That's where they're coming in from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide cancel. Slide canceling around corners is definitely a broken mechanic, but it is something that is actually part of the game. So don't be mad if people slide cancel and this and that. You know, it's part of the game. We didn't make the game. The developers made the game. It's an option. It's in the controller options. And why not use it and take advantage of it to have a better advantage of your team, uh, a better advantage of your enemies. Cause you know, why would I do something that is not going to give me good results? You know, every skilled pro player does this hundred percent oh, fact. Right, let's go up. And even if the guy had dead silence, the fact that I slid cancel around that corner and pre aimed down my sights is the reason why I won that gunfight. Even if I didn't know he was coming. All right. Same thing right there. I pre aimed. Was right there too. Yeah, I knew this guy was right there, but the fact that that's he was already turned around looking at me, quick, that's why I died. And now I'm going to be talking to my teammates, so I'm just going to lower this a little bit. So now that I've died, I do want to continue my streak, man. I'm feeling really good about this match, and I definitely want to continue this. So I see, I see a glint right there, so I avoid that at all costs. You know, just because you see an enemy doesn't mean that you need to go for the kill. You have to understand that. You know, it's all about being passive aggressive. And, you know, that's what happens when you capture a flag and you're all by yourself. So that's something to keep in mind as well. That's why I died. So I'm still keeping an eye on this area because that's where I died last. I see this bullet tracers. I go to the left, miss my shots, throw my C4 instead. That way I don't need to put myself at risk. It, you know, if I were to turn the corner and he has the advantage on me, he wouldn't be able to kill me. So they also do have a VTOL up. So I'm going to try to be mindful of that and get some cover. I see bullet tracers once again, man. You know, being a good Call of Duty player, it takes more than map knowledge. You know, you have to look at your heads up display, you know, the kill cam, you know, uh, you know, looking at where the enemy just went after he killed you, uh, looking at the kill feed, looking at bullet tracers, hearing for footsteps, et cetera, et cetera. All of these little things encompass what makes a good player good. All right, so here I am again. I'm in the middle. I'm just literally holding down the middle. I'm getting all these easy kills. It looks like I'm reverse boosting, right? No, <laughs> I'm literally just, 
you know, holding down areas of the map where it's most common for enemies to come through. I see this guy. I fake him out a little bit. I let him come to me. Bam, easy kill. You know, that's another thing. Just outsmarting the opponent as much as you possibly can. So here they come again. They're coming back to the middle of the map. And that's just my awareness kicking in right there. And plus, I have dead silence so I could hear this guy's footsteps coming. I see this guy's footprints. I'm thinking about uh, pursuing that guy, but I don't think it's worth it. The reason why is because I'm farming so many kills in this area. And I know if I go to the middle of the map, I'm literally just going to get beamed if I just run through the middle. And I barely run through the middle of the map as well. All right, let me play that back one more time, man. That was super clean. So let's go back a little bit here. Pre-aiming, man. Pre-aiming is everything. Pre-aim, boom. I see one. I fade away real quick. Jump around the corner. I didn't quite hit my shots. Throw my C4. Bam. Easy kill. All right, so now I'm going to direct my attention to B. Obviously, the enemies have the B flag, so that's where they're most likely going to be. So that guy was already creeping around the corner. You know, he had the advantage of me on me, so that's why I lost that gunfight. All right? So, you know, if there's one thing to take away from this gameplay, it's literally all about your cerebral, man. It's all about your IQ, how you think about the game, how you approach it. And I've seen comments that say, like, dude, don't lie, man. You do not think about this way every time you play. Honestly, I do. <laughs> because I've played this way for 10 years straight, man. I've been playing since Modern Warfare 2. And uh, ever since I figured out how to flank and how to play more smart, uh, it has incredibly increased my performance in game. Now, my gun skill is not that great, like I said before, but, you know, using, utilizing tactics and strategy is what puts me above most average players, all right? So here I am again, getting that high ground. I'm sticking to the outskirts. I'm not passing through the middle of the map. I'm out from the outside looking in, making sure that I don't get shot from different angles. That's why I always say, you know, Always use the outskirts of the map. So I'm helping my team capture here. And and this guy just came out of nowhere. I don't know where he came from. And he had dead silence. So that's why he was able to flank me. See, even when enemies do it to me, it just goes to show it proves. Like, it's the element of surprise is what kills you. So imagine if you guys started applying that to your game, how much more your gameplay would improve. So I'm going to go for the B flag. I'm over here by myself. I noticed that, you know, we're about to lose. So I'm going to play a little bit more of the objective. I'm going to use these little crates and cardboard boxes in front of me as for cover. Now, the reason why I hopped off the flag momentarily is because I heard footsteps coming. That's why I wanted to kill the guy before he could get to me. And that results in me getting the easy flag capture. So I'm, I'm paying attention to the middle of the map because I'm looking at my mini map. We have a UAV up. It's giving us information. And that tells me where I need to look. And that's another thing. Always look at your minimap. I always talk about this literally every single multiplayer video. Look at that minimap. It tells you so much information that you need to know. So some, somebody is capturing B right now, helping out my teammate. I kill them at B, kill them from a distance. And I just said I'm going to watch uh, his or her back. Forgot who that was. I apologize. And over here, like, I just simply got outgunned. I simply got outgunned, and that is going to happen. You know, I'm not here to say, like, oh, every single gameplay you're going to get is going to be flawless. And there's another, uh, you know, advanced movement mechanic is drop shot. You know, that's been in the game since Modern Warfare 2. And like I said, I just heard his footsteps. All right. Now, the reason why I'm traveling down the middle of the map is because I know for a fact, just because I've played this map so many times before, is because that there's no activity going on in the middle. These enemies are all focused on protecting the B flag because that's what we're trying to capture right now. So... Uh, it's all about trying to put yourself in the enemy's shoes as well, thinking what they would do in certain situations. And naturally, you know, you want to guard your flag, right? So I did see one right there, but I'm not going to engage just yet because I want to make sure this guy doesn't kill me from the outside. And, you know, looking back on this footage, maybe I should have killed that guy first. You know, the first guy that I saw that was, uh, you know, closest to the flag, maybe I should have killed him first. All right, so my teammates are taking B. We have finally reestablished taking B. I can't remember if we win or loss, lose this game. Uh, but uh, now I'm playing a little bit more of the objective. Died around that because that enemy had better positioning than I did. All right, so now I'm instructing my teammates to go back to B. We got to capture B. We got to protect it. Now I'm going to throw my C4. I'm going to go prone. I got a double kill off of that. You know, think about those things as well. You know, if you're throwing a C4 and you've got cover in front of you, make sure to go prone so that you don't get shot while you're throwing it. You know, that's the worst. 
C1 guy over here. I get that hide advantage on him. He wasn't able to see me. Switch to my M4 to engage in long range combat. Kill this enemy. No, someone right behind me. Someone right behind me. He flanked from the middle of the map. And that's what happens when you're too focused on capturing the objective. Obviously, you're going to die here and there because you can't really do it all, right? The match is coming to an end here. Unfortunately, we didn't win the game. But uh, I hope you guys did learn something with all of my reasoning for why I was doing what I'm doing and how it can yield consistent results. So let's take a look at my final score here. Oh, and this was the nice highlight of the game right here where I was holding down that middle area really well because... You know, it's kind of like a common area for enemies to come through. That's why I was holding that area down. 44 kills, 11 deaths. Now, if you take a look at my teammates, uh, 8 and 21, 20 and 12, 22 and 19. But look at my score compared to theirs. Obviously, I'm <laughs> the YouTuber. I play Call of Duty as, you know, my job. And that's why I'm going to do well. But... Uh, like I said, I don't have that great gun skill, but I do apply a lot of logic and thinking to my gameplay, and that's why I do really well, and that's what I try to teach you guys. You know, no offense to these players here. They are part of Turbo Nation. As you can see, that is the official uh, clan tag for my regiment. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, if you get this thing down to a T, best believe you can also play this well also. Let's go ahead and skip through the rest of my stream just to prove a point that most of my games do end up in a positive manner so all right so here was the next match 36 and 12 uh, this was on candor hideout all right we're playing on saint petrograd here uh let's see what my score was 27 and 5 okay next match we're playing on cheshire park i think we were being spawn trapped here so uh that's why i did terrible we were being terribly spawn trapped here 11 and 12 uh this is gunrunner this is the uh gameplay that i showed you guys yesterday which was the last video 27 and 2 all right, now we're playing on Scrapyard. How did I do here? 16 and 10, not too good. It was a pretty slow game, but still positive. Back on Cheshire Park. Let's see what happens when we don't get spawn trapped. 28 and 6. Okay, Taslik Backlot. Let's see what my final score was here. 28 and 4. You know, I could go on and on, man. Like I said, this was a four-hour stream session. People accuse me of reverse boosting. Dude... I do nothing different. I just play smarter than the average player. That's all I do. I apply a lot of logic. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you are new around here to make your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty tips and tactics and turn on notifications. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.